Here's some fire pistons that I've made. That's a, just a brass piece of brass pipe. Fairly common. These two here are a little bit different. They're made of black locust. And black locust is tight enough to hold the air, but it will split. So I reinforced it against splitting by wrapping it with these laminations of, of wooden ribbon. And there's various ways of doing that. One could put rings on. I chose to make a spiral. Um, and uh, they've been working for a couple of years now. I made some others that didn't that have failed. It's not foolproof, but um, I'm still learning how to do it. And uh, definitely, it, it uh, makes a big difference, uh, particularly this thickness of uh, of wood would split almost immediately if you didn't reinforce it like that, or some way. And uh, let's see how it works. Nothing. No, it's going. In the sunlight, sometimes you can't see it. And another thing I've done with these fire pistons is that I've a little slot in the chamber, and that allows me to stick something in there and poke the tinder out very easily. And I put it in with my uh, tinder there. My tinder box here is just a can with a lid. And underneath here you can see that there is tinder from the last fire I made. And I just blow that up. I get a fire relatively quickly. And if I'm going to start a fire, which I am, I transfer that to where it's my stove in this case. Drop that down there. And pop that back on. And the next time I want to build a fire, I've got charred material in there. And I might add a little bit of extra uh, tinder. I like to use pine needles because they flare up pretty quickly. That puts the, that out. And that's how I start fires with my fire pistons.